Welcome to the forge. Well, it's not really a forge, it's more like my dad's workshop, but hey, it's okay. It gets the point across, right? Uh, so many years ago, there was a barn on my grandparents' property, and my grandmother heard cats in the top of the barn. And so she started to feed them. She got cat food, she set it out, she put water out. She did this for months. And she was really excited to see these kittens, to see these cats on her property, maybe help hunt mice and rats, right? She did this for months. And my granddad went up there one day, and suddenly he opened the door, and he realized it was not cats up there, it was giant rats. I mean, they were, they were a big family of rats, right? It was insane. So the next year, me and my granddaddy spent time in the barn catching and killing rats, right? Because we had to get them out of there. We had to eradicate them. And so we set these big traps, right? These are rat traps, not just mouse traps. These are giant rat traps. I mean, you see how big these things are, right? And they hurt when they hit you. And my granddad said, he showed them to me. He showed me what they could do. I think he put like a pencil out and he set it with a pencil. And he says, look... I was probably eight or nine at the time, and he said, look, these will, these could break your fingers. They could really hurt. They could take your fingers clean off, right? Maybe he's exaggerating a little bit, but they could do some damage, especially at my young age with my small fingers. And he says, you got to be very careful with them. And then he proceeded to put on really nice, heavy, thick gloves. And I said, well, don't, do I get gloves? He said, no. He's not at all. I was like, that's not fair. I see my granddad doing it. He's going to put me up for, you know, he's going make to it, make it hurt me. And he told me, he says, being a little bit afraid of them is going to make you cautious and make you more safe. And I, and I loved it. I, at the time, I didn't really get it. But later on in life, I started to think about that, and I realized what he was saying. And, and having that little bit of fear, and that, fi that being afraid of getting hurt, and having fear in my life of this giant rat trap as a kid actually helped me make sure that I was setting them right, make sure I was doing it correctly, make sure I was being very cautious because I didn't want to get my fingers. And he was teaching me that it's okay to be a little bit of afraid of things. It's okay to have fear. And in today's world, too, we don't want to take away fear from our lives. We don't want to be fearless. But having a little bit of fear and being afraid of something is okay. It's going to make us cautious. It's going to, it's going to heighten our senses. It kicks in that fight or flight. It actually helps our decision making in those times. So embracing that fear, understanding that being afraid and fearful of a situation is okay. There are ways to control it, right? Because the only difference between fear and panic is control. If you let fear take control of you or you let it get out of hand, out of control, it becomes panic and you can't think and things all go to hell, right? That's just not good. So you want to control the fear, embrace it, and use it to your advantage. If you want to learn how to do that, join the Forge. We teach all kinds of tips and tricks of how to use fa being, a, uh, the, uh, being a fear and how being afraid to your advantage, of how to deal with it, how to accept it, and how to use it to your advantage in situations. It's okay to be afraid and have fear. Look, join the Forge. Let's do it.